It's fall, so that means we've got football and squash. Everybody knows about the spaghetti squash. Let's learn about some other ones. All right, I think my mom was really impressed by my spike. And as far as I'm concerned, Arkansas beat Auburn, and so we're three and one at filming. So, <laughs> all right, we have had a lot of fun with the winter squashes. So we use a lot of them for decoration around here and uh, the education process on which ones they're eaten and the different uh, flavors, profiles that they have has been really fun. So mom and I, were gonna jump up here and say, what we've been doing lately with them and give you some ideas. So mom, you run through your side and I'll run through mine. All right, so we have, what we have on this side is the orange cutie squash. We have the autumn cup squash, also I believe called a, a kombucha squash, uh, the acorn, uh, kushaw, and then the Cinderella squash. And Logan slid this regular spaghetti squash over to my side. Um, oh, and one that's hidden is this millionaire. And this, I learned this year is actually a spaghetti squash also. So a lot of chefs are having fun with that one. Um, everything is edible. It's great. The autumn cup squash is probably the sweetest out of the squash that I have found. Um, a lot of people will take even the Cinderella squash and bake it whole, and also fairy tale squash, and we, pumpkin squash, uh, we're out of those, um, or that would have been displayed. But that's just kind of, I mean, it's just crazy how so many unique recipes that you can make of, and I'm gonna pop over on Logan's side just a minute with this Turk's Turban, which is a sweet squash, but it, it's wonderful and you could even get them to where they're in their little soup bowl and, and roast it and cut it out and make your your squash soup in that and then have it set at the table would be really cute we have had a lot of fun with doing the different unique things and so for example this is a curry squash and the curry is one that i used just the other night and made like a think of the stuffed bell pepper type i quartered it and then roasted it. And uh, I, I don't remember the exact, I think it was like 300 degrees for 20, 30 minutes, but uh, we, we can share that exactly. But roasted it, got it good and tender, and then I cooked off some ground bison and, and stuffed it and, and actually used some curry uh, seasoning <laughs> to, to flavor that. But it was very good. Gave it a good like butternut, sweet potato type taste, and it was really good. This is just a pie pumpkin. This is what uh, make pies out of. Uh, as well as some other squashes, the Hubbard specifically. Mom hit on the Turk's Turban. This one was the- Black Cat. Black Cat. And uh, I never would have thought you could eat this one. Think of it kind of like an individual serving that you can incorporate in any of your pumpkin squash recipes. With these, we've had roasted, stir fried, baked. Uh, I've seen the whole fairy tale be baked. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kushaw, I don't know what the deal with the the Louisiana folks, but they are absolutely they are. going nuts over this. So we are trying to get their recipes, whatever. I guess, I don't know if it's a Cajun or Creole recipe they got, but they love the Kushaw. And, um, and one customer shared that she boils, she peels it, dices it, boils it to kind of an al dente state and then ends up roasting it with her seasonings and stuff in the oven. Yeah. And so they say it's wonderful. It's unbelievable all the different things that can be done, but they have all been very good and they're not just for decoration. So it gives you some uh, bang for your buck anytime you're buying the decorations, we can turn around and eat them. So, I uh, hope this helps to kind of identify some of the winter squash varieties and Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh -huh.